They've yet to fire a green flag into the air today. Got running initially from Caleb Lyons, looking to get the ball back in his hand, which he has done. Good close control and composure as well, and the shot just about has enough legs on it to get it over the bar. That's three from play for Caleb Lyons. Not normally associated with high scoring. The odd one here and there from the half-back line, but today he's been deadly accurate. Yeah, and he's been so athletic, so fast in this second half, and what a second half he's had. Oh. Cork almost driving into the space. There's a chance now, maybe, for Connolly. Connolly bearing down a goal. Connolly! But there's the goal they desperately needed. This game turns on its head yet again. Alan Connolly with a deadly finish. The hat trick hero. Watch this for a chance. Rides wood tackle, bounces it off the ground and goes to the weaker side of the goalkeeper. What a finish. Two goals against Waterford in the Munster Championship two years ago. He's got a crucial one here today. And this one right back in the melting pot. Two point game. Here's Mikey Kiley now. Needs support. Turns back out. Gets a call in behind for Patrick Curran. And Patrick Curran looking to steady Waterford. Nerves. And he has done so. Huge score for their point of view. I said it when he came on. Curran, they saw Patrick Fitzgerald. These two boys are deadly with the ball. And to do exactly what Davy Fitz has asked of him. But Mikey Kiley winning that ball again. He's a huge man in the air. A huge man to win ball. A goal between them as we head towards injury time. Lovely footwork from Shane Barrett. Barrett looking for another score. Oh, he sent that one slicing from left to right. Cork's 10th wide of this game. Three additional minutes. Still plenty of time for really all three results to be a possibility. Just looking at the Wofford forwards, like they've so many up in the full forward line, Dave. This is what the public were crying out for the last couple of years, and they're seeing the benefits of it today. Well, maybe a closer echoing of the great Waterford side of the noughties that picked up a three monster titles and played with such abandon, such freedom. They need a couple of scores just to ensure this victory, and who better than the man on the far side who's been deadly accurate from place balls, but it's taken until the 71st minute for Desi Hutchinson to get his first score from play. It was, I wasn't important, and what a great score it was. I went to his favourite left-hand side. And the subs continue to be rolled on and off. Collins has to find a man in red. Two minutes for Cork to salvage something from this game. That's a clear foul on Robert Downey. And so Cork will have a chance to fire another free over and make it a one-score game again. The pressure on the manager and there'll be pressure on Patrick Horgan here. Although coming across to take it, it's Horgan who's just left the field, in fact. It's a lot of pressure on Alan Connolly, Tommy. Just 22 years of age, the young man from Black Rock. Yeah, just Horgan had to be taken off that time. Downey came on the back after the sending off. And here is Connolly to bring it back to three, and he's done that. 1-3 for him. What an asset he is in this inside forward line for Cork. And so just a goal between them. 90 seconds remaining. Here is Stephen Bennett. Jinking into the space is Dara Lyons, and he found Stephen Bennett again. He was nudged just as he let go of it, and it goes to the left and wide. Both sides with ten wides apiece now. Can Cork find another moment of magic? Oh, maybe they can. What a take that was in the air. And that's a free in. Waterford just looking to ensure there isn't a goal scored. Bravio Flynn, dominant in the skies there. Well, Will Cork have time for two plays. They may have to work this one in. There'll certainly be time for the puck out. So over it goes from Connolly. His fourth point. A two-point game. Waterford have made another change. 
Falling for Cheryl, comes in for his fifth championship appearance. The young man from Jack Valley Gunner, only 20 years of age, to try and see them over the line, has replaced Mikey Kiley, who's had a very busy afternoon. Colin's trying to manage this clock as best he can, rather. Sean O'Brien, the Waterford goalkeeper, off to put as much distance between himself and the ball as he possibly can. Keep Cork away from this goal because they do need a goal. Here come Waterford looking for the insurance score. The brilliant hook as he looked to pull the trigger, Patrick Curran, but it fell kindly for him the second time. And he points to the skies as he sends over his second point since coming in as a substitute. There's the full time whistle. A momentous victory for David Fitzgerald and his Waterford players. So much pressure on them, so much talk around the camp that all was not well, that Waterford and Hurling were struggling, but they've come back to Walsh Park. They're home today, upgraded, refurbished, but maybe it's an upgraded Waterford team as well because they've started this year's Munster Championship with a huge victory over Cork and what they had to work incredibly.